Hello everyone, welcome back to another Spectrum mini-series episode. So today, we have a decision to make. We are going to choose one of these things to do. Last time we did parkour, and uh, we did that pretty successfully, it wasn't too hard. So I think today, either we could go in order, we do, because we did tr arena first, parkour second, and then we do puzzle, or we could do trivia. Puzzle or trivia, I really don't know, but I feel like puzzle might be really hard, and I really don't feel like thinking today. <laughs> so we might just do trivia. I, I, I had to do a math test today, so I mean, my brain is my brain's good at thinking today, so I'm, I'm good. Okay. Uh, where are the rules? Here we go. Um, in every room, there's a question that will be asked. Answer the question correctly and move on. If you do not have the correct answer, then something bad will happen. Oh, crap. For every question that you miss, a smarts point will be deducted from your score. No! On my smarts. If you finish the branch with your smarts level at zero, then shame on you. Oh, no. Render distance must be 16. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. It's loaded. Okay. Look up. Look. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. Question. Yes, please. Hello and welcome to the trivia branch. Here I will ask you questions about the well-known game Minesweeper. First question. In this game, what is the maximum number of mines you can surround a single tile? Dang it, I thought these would be Minecraft questions. <laughs> uh, where do I answer? Go where you last left off. No. Um, okay. I think it's four, right? I might be... I thought these would be Minecraft questions. <laughs> I didn't think these would be random questions like Minesweeper. I've never played Minesweeper. Uh. Okay, it was the maximum number of ta Oh, of mines that can surround a single tile. Well, if a tile's four sides, I'd say four. Get dingy. <laughs> no, my smarts have gone down one. No, I have 99 smarts left. Okay, it's not four. Maybe eight. Yes! Good job on that first question. Obviously, this question was not too diff. No! Not Minesweeper! Minecraft! Oh, wait. Okay, I'm confused. What? <laughs> I can. I can't hear you. I guess he said StarCraft. God. Dang it. <laughs> I, I've never. I've actually been thinking about playing StarCraft. Okay. Here's a question about StarCraft Who is the main character of StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty? Oh, jeez. Okay, so I see what's going on here. Um, what sounds like a StarCrafty name? Hmm. Not Jim Raynor. Maybe Eructus? No, that's too hard to say. Maybe Xeroctal? Aw, oh, god dang it. <laughs> My smarts. Okay, it's not that one. Uh, how about... Hmm. Sarah. That sounds like... No, not that even? Really? I thought it wouldn't be that hard to say. You'd think it would be easy to say if it's a main character name. I bet it's this. What? It's the... <laughs> of course it's the exact one that I say it wasn't. Okay. Good. All my smarts have gone down. Okay. Oh, wait. What is he saying? Um. <laughs> loser. <laughs> Keep saying I'm a loser. Aw. Nice work. Now for a difficult question. No, not StarCraft. Minecraft. Minecraft? Why didn't you say so? You're talking about that same game with those blocky graphics? Ah, uh, I guess so. Yes, very blocky. Okay. Since this branch is since this branch is about Minecraft, I suppose I will take you through the entire experience of this game. The grass block, the icon of Minecraft, is very well known. Which of these facts about grass blocks is false? These are questions that are relevant to 1.7.8. Okay. By the way, if you want to answer these questions too, I guess I should probably read them out. Okay. Something about grass that is true. Okay, it can be obtained in survival mode. Yes, it can. It can change colors. Uh, in different biomes it can, I guess. Passive mobs can spawn on grass blocks. Yes, when it's night. And it can change to mycelium if mycelium is next to it. These all sound the same. These all sound right. Wait. Which of these facts about grass blocks is false? Oh, which one's false? Okay. Uh, is it... Okay, that one's right. It might be the changed color, but I don't think so. Can be attained in survival mode. Let's get my silly. That's the only one. Oh, okay. That's the only one I wasn't sure about completely. Okay. Good job. Grass blocks cannot change to mycelium, even if mycelium is right next to it. 
Dirt, on the other hand, can change the mycelium. Okay, that's what I was thinking of then. Good. Next question. On the title page of Minecraft, the word Minecraft always appears. Also, the splash appears. Yellow words that flash across the screen. Which of the following is not a splash? In case you were wondering... Oh, I can never see. The purple is weird. The symbol on the floor is a Minecraft splash. Splash. Wait, what? I don't get it. Okay. Um, solar powered? That might... That might be one. Do not distribute? I think that might be one also. Classy? One of a kind? Hmm. Okay, I've definitely seen one of a kind. Not sure about classy. Solar powered sounds like one that they would say. It might be do not distribute. No. <laughs> Dang it. The splash do not distribute is in fact a splash. You may have seen... Oh wait, I'm trying to do parkour. You may have been thrown off since these same words appear at the bottom right corner of the title screen. Oh, okay. That, yep, yeah, okay, that's what I was thinking of. That's why I'm confused, exactly. You're right. Okay, where am I? What is this? What is this? I have to ask her another question? To get back, transverse these words at the end. Select what those words say. What? I don't get, what? What does that mean? You may see thrown off. You may have been thrown off since these same words always appear in the bottom right corner of the title screen. To get back, transver tra traverse these words at at, and at the end, select what? Oh! Oh, these are words. Oh, I'm doing parkour on words. Okay. I. N. Right? Yeah. N. P. No. Oh, wait. This might. Okay, that's a U. P. And. E. I. U. P. E. V. I. No, exclamation point. That's a V, right? Yeah, in dev. What? Is that right? I think that was right, because it takes me back. Okay. Maybe I was right that one time before. Okay. Solar powered. Yes! Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. It's hilarious. Okay. Many Minecraft splashes are, are, are objectives, but this one does not exist and is not true. That is true. It's not solar powered. I'm sure you could probably hook it up to make it solar powered, but... I mean, that's pretty cool if it was. Okay, from the title, it's obvious that Minecraft is a game of mining and crafting. The crafting table used for crafting certain materials uses nine slots. How many blocks of cobblestone are used to make a piston? Oh crap, I was getting confused. Four. Yeah, I know my crafting. Russ per diamond pickaxe. Okay, next question. The other key aspect of Minecraft is, of course, mining. The best tool for mining is a pickaxe. Which of these pickaxes mines stone the fattest? Fastest. Fastest. I can't say that. Okay. Assume that the pickaxes have no enchantments. Gold pickaxe. Aha. Common against thought. Gold pickaxes, are, gold pickaxes can't talk today, are the fastest at mining stone and other materials. Um, after collecting valuable ores, you need to sm smelt them using furnaces. Which of the following options are unable to be used as a furnace fuel? Okay. Daylight sensor? You might be able to because I think it's, it has wood. Saplings definitely. Signs? No. Okay. I didn't know you could use daylight sensors. Okay. Those signs are entirely constructed out of wooden planks and a stick. Um, it, is a, it is unable to be used as a fuel. They should change that because that's kind of dumb. Signs would burn in real life. Even though it's not real life. Okay. Survival mode. The main challenge is to stay alive. The primary means by which one dies in survival is by getting killed by hostile mobs. One of the following mobs, which of these deals the most damage per hit in hard difficulty? Okay, Guardian, probably quite a bit, because it's a boss. Killer Bunny, doesn't that do like insane damage, I think? Big Mimikyu might be the winner. Wither Skeleton doesn't do that much. Hmm, might be Killer Bunny, but I think Big Mimikyu, Magma Cube does a lot. Nope. <laughs> Look, now he's... Yeah. There you go. Now, that's, that's, that's how much damage he does. Okay, it's probably Killer Bunny. Yep. It does. For every strike, it'll hit 12.6 hearts. Holy crap. That's, like, really good. <laughs> that's insane. Uh, one way to fend off hostile mobs is by using snow golems. Um, unfortunately, snow golems take damage in certain biomes because of heat. Which of these biomes do snow golems not melt in? I would probably say... 
Oh, wait, okay. I was going to say, like, Tega, ta or whatever it's called. The snow biome. But maybe Savannah, Nether, Jungle, Desert. It might actually be the Nether. But that might be, that might be really dumb. It might also be Jungle. I think it's Jungle. Nope. <laughs> snow golems actually do melt in jungles. Oh, I have to find the button. Oh, found it. Ow. Dang. No, I just realized all my smarts. No. My IQ is going down very low. <laughs> um, okay, I bet it's a trick question. It's probably nether. Nope. It's not. It's not. God dang it. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. But, you know, it seems like it could be like a trick question or something. Right? I mean, come on. Jeez, okay. Uh, it might be desert because it was made so long ago. Or maybe savannah. Yep, there you go. Snow golems will not melt in savannah biome, even though the savannas are often thought as dry and hot. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Of course, uh, you could entirely skip the night all along with the mobs by sleeping in a bed. Which of these facts about beds are false? Okay, beds can explode. Yes, they can. In the nether, um, you are able to sleep in survival, even if slimes are right next to you. I'm pretty sure you can't do that, because in flat worlds, that always annoys the crap out of me. Um, you can never sleep at daytime. Well, that's true, I think. And you can use beds to teleport through walls. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's this one. That wasn't that wasn't a bit. That wasn't that was basically just a logic question. Can, do you sleep in your bed during the day most of the time? No. No, I don't. Okay. Um, I'm gonna stop I'm gonna skip reading some of these things. You can read them if you want, just cause um don't want the video I don't want it. lots of reading. I want talking, not reading. Okay. Um, another common way to die in Minecraft is fall damage. In fact, fall, if you fall from a height of 23 blocks, you will instantly die if you have no armor. Which of these mobs w does suffer from fall damage? Okay. Enderman just teleports, I think. Snow Golem doesn't, and Chicken doesn't, so it's Ocelot. What? It was an Ocelot. Huh. Oh, they do not take fall damage, really? Oh, because I guess they're cats. Okay, well, that makes sense. Never mind. It might be Enderman, then, or Snow Golems. Definitely not chickens, because they just float down. Endermen might just teleport. It might be... Yeah, it's Endermen. Okay. Endermen do take fall damage. Dang it. Oh, yeah. This is what it says. Have you ever seen the Ender Dragon swoop down and launch dozens of Endermen high into the air and die from impact? Yes, I have. Guess that makes sense now, doesn't it? Um, important aspect of survival is eating. Which of these items fills you up the most? Okay. Poisonous potato is like half, I think. Rotten flesh is two. Raw pork chop is like two, I think. Maybe one and a half. And one slice of cake is, I think, quite a bit. Nope. A single slice of cake gives you one entire hunger point. Aw, dang it. What do I need to do? When I eat too much cake, I get dizzy. Oh, I'm on a cake. What do I do? Oh. Um. What? <laughs> I'm confused. What am I doing here? There's cake everywhere. This looks like a cheaty block. Oh, yep, it is a cheaty block. Ow. All oh, my smarts. Okay, what was the question? Which of these items fills you up the most? Okay. Maybe it might be poisonous potato, but I don't think so. It must be rock porch. Nope. Uh, do we have to do parkour now? Oh, god dang it. This, I, did, I, did, I want trivia, not parkour. I didn't know I was this bad at trivia. Come on. Eh. 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 Well, good thing I'm really good at parkour, because, yeah. Eat it. <laughs> Eat it. I'm good at parkour. Okay. It must be Rotten Flesh, though, because I think Raw Pork Chop is one and a half, so it must be Rotten Flesh. There you go. Okay. Next question. Enchanting is a favorite aspect of both survival mode and creative mode. Um... What is the chance that you will obtain flint when you mine gravel with a fortune th three shovel? Uh, it must be... It's not 100%. Maybe it's 75%? Because it, if, it, if it's... I think if it's fortune one, it's like 25%. Fortune two is 50%, so fortune three must be 75%. No, apparently not. What the heck's wrong with these... Can you see that? It's like having a seizure. Are you okay there, bud? Do I need to take you to an ambulance? What the heck? It's a secret room. Oh my god. 
Wow. I died. Okay. Um, it's not 100% because you think you want to mine gravel without, like, really fast without getting flint all the time. Must be 80. Nope. <sighs> I'm in the same room. Dang it. Okay. Is it none of these? Oh my gosh. It's 100%. Really? I actually did not know that. Huh. Weird. I didn't know that. I thought it would be, like, less than 100. Okay. Uh, desert temples are quite interesting. Um, which of these items can you not find in a desert temple? Uh, you can find golden apples, enchanted books, saddle, diamond horse armor. It might be enchanted book, I think, because I've never seen enchanted book. Nope. <sighs> Dang it. Whoops. False alarm. Aw. Okay, I'm going to have to end the video soon. Wow, great. <laughs> Pac-Man was taken by surprise by the sudden loud noises at a, and had a heart attack and died. Oh no. Okay, well, I'm gonna end this part here. Hopefully it's not that far left. Or hopefully it is far left. Or more left, so then the last next video isn't short. Um, let me just check really quick because I do not want to... Okay. Yeah, there's... <laughs> it's quite, quite a ways to go. <laughs> okay, so I hope you all enjoy this episode of spectrum um, people have been asking to for me to record it so i'm very happy about that i'm in creative probably should not be just hitting while in creative okay so i hope you all enjoy this episode make sure to all like and sub subscribe for more and next time we'll figure out what the heck is in this i i don't know which one it might be saddle it might be diamond horse armor i have no clue um so yeah hope you all enjoyed make sure to leave a like and I will see you in the next part where we finish, hopefully, hopefully finish the trivia. I hope so. Oh god, my brain hurts already. Purr.